hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute uh, little bear so this pattern was inspired by uh, Exano Legasto I don't know if, if that's the correct um, pronunciation but I their website is Yanni Danit so it was inspired by Exano Legasto from Yanni Danit and i hope you enjoy this pattern so this pattern is dedicated to all the nurses and health workers and everyone out there please stay safe so what you're gonna need is uh you're gonna need uh this crochet hook i used 3.5 millimeters and i use my favorite yarn which is the soft yarn uh so this one is now it's a japanese yarn so i don't know the company exactly but i really like it it's really soft and uh its work is really neat and that's all you're gonna need so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the magic ring and then six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay and then you're going to pull your yarn to close the gap okay so this is the head we're making first and then we're gonna move down to the body and then the legs together okay so in the second row we're going to increase all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets so you're going to do uh, two single crochet in every stitch so you're going to do two single crochet Okay, so in the second round, we are going to do two single crochet all the way around for a total of two single crochet. So you're going to increase in every stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the first one. Okay, and then do again two single crochet. So you're going to do two in the same stitch. Okay, and then do that in the next stitch, do two single crochets. Then again, two single crochet. And then increase also in the next stitch and in the last stitch until here at the end. Okay, so after that, in our third row, uh, we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and repeat that six times for a total of uh, 18 single crochets. So you're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, so repeat that again. So single crochet and then increase. So you do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end okay after that in our fourth row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase into that stitch and repeat that all around so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, so repeat that again, single crochet, one, single crochet, two, and then increase in the next stitch. So two single crochet in the same stitch. And then you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end for a total of uh, 24 stitches. Okay, so after that in our fifth row, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat that all around for a total of 30 stitches. So you're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, and then increase in the next stitch. So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. 
okay and then you're going to repeat that all around so you're going to do three single crochet increase three single crochet increase until here at the end okay, so after that uh, in our sixth row we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches then increase in the next stitch and repeat that six times for a total of 36 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so you're going to repeat that five more times so you're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches increase and repeat all around until here at the end okay so after that in our seventh row we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches and then increase and repeat that uh, six times for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and then single crochet five and then increase in the other stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that um you're going to repeat that all the way around uh for a total of uh 42 stitches okay so after you're done with your seventh row from row eight until row 13 uh, which is in the next six rows we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 42 stitches in each row so uh, you're going to do single crochet and then single crochet single crochet single crochet Okay, and then you're going to repeat that in this row and then in the next again are uh, six rows So I'll see you when you're done with your 13th row and then I'll show you how to do the 14th row Okay, so after you're done with our uh, 14th, I mean our 13th rows, this is how it should look like So in our 14th row, we're going to start decreasing and we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 36 stitches okay so you're going to do single crochet in the first stitch single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five and then we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop of the first stitch pull through and then go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the three loops okay then you're going to repeat that again so you're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four five and then decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all the three okay so you're going to repeat that all around until here at the end okay so after that in our 15th row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next uh, four stitches then decrease in the next two stitches and repeat that six times for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four and then uh decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and pull through all the three okay so repeat the same pattern all around until here at the end for a total of 30 stitches okay so after that in our next row uh, which is our row 16 we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches 
then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then uh, you're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our 17th row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and then we're going to repeat that all around for a total of 12 stitches okay I mean for a so after that in our 17th row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches and then decrease in the next two stitches and we're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so you're going to do single crochet in the first stitch single crochet in the next stitch and then decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all the way around okay so you're going to repeat the same pattern all around until here at the end for a total of 18 stitches and when you're done with this row please make sure you stuff uh inside your bear so uh, so that it's not gonna become more harder as we move on okay so after you're done with that with the 17th row so i filled mine already this is how it looks like so in our 18th row uh we're going to do single crochet decrease single crochet decrease and then repeat all around for a total of 12 stitches okay so i'm going to do single crochet in the first stitch and then decrease in the next so decrease in the next 10 so make sure your head is fully stuffed uh, without leaving any gap so it becomes a little bit harder to crochet and then again repeat again so single crochet and then decrease Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so after you're done with our row uh, we're now going to start making the body and for the body we're going to do single crochet all the way around first until the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so you're going to go in the first stitch and do single crochet so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet and repeat that all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh, in our next row which is our 20th row we are going to do single crochet in the next stitch then increase in the next and repeat that six times for a total of 18 stitches so you're going to do single crochet in the first stitch and then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch and then repeat that again single crochet and then increase okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until here at the end for a total of 18 stitches Okay, so after that in our next row which is our 21st row we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet and repeat that all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done with that in our next row which is our 22nd row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then increase and repeat all around for a total of 24 stitches so you're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches and then increase in the next stitch you're going to do two single crochet 
in the same stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that all around so single crochet in the next two stitches increase all the way around for a total of 24 stitches okay so after you're done with that in our 23rd row we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet and repeat that all the way around until the end okay so after you're done with the 23rd row in our 24th row we're going to do single crochet in the next 11 stitches then increase and repeat that two times for a total of 26 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then increase in the top stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay so you're going to repeat that again one more time until the end for a total of uh, 26 stitches okay so after you're done with that uh in the next uh five rows which is row 25 until row 29 you're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 26 stitches in each row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the next uh five rows so that i show you how to do the legs okay so after you're done with your body you're going to divide uh your body into two so you're going to divide 13 stitches put a marker and then on the other side 13 stitches which is all the way around 13 stitches and all the way around here 13 stitches and put a marker here at the bottom okay so after you do that uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in the first round of making our legs okay so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet then you're going again to do single crochet and another single crochet okay and then when we get here where our marker is I'm going to remove my marker first I'm going to remove Here and put a single crochet through the first one and single crochet through the second leg like that at the center where my marker was and pull through all through and make a single crochet okay and then I'm going to continue again doing my single crochet all the way around so I do single crochet single crochet So I'm going to continue like that all the way around making single crochet until the end where my marker is. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to do it. Do single crochet and then repeat all the way around. Then do again repeat all the way around single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then after i get here where i did single crochet on both sides i'm going to do to go again in the same stitch where i did on both sides uh, of the single crochet and then do another single crochet the same stitch 
okay and then i'm going to continue on the one side of the other leg and do single crochet all the way around until where the marker is okay so single crochet then single crochet okay so until here where the marker is so when i get where my marker is I'm going to put again my marker over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do single crochet until here uh, where I divided my leg so I'm going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet then single crochet then continue again single crochet and then single crochet okay so you're not going to continue all the way around okay so you're not going to continue all the way around so I'm just going to turn here and then go again on the other leg and do single crochet single crochet okay single crochet and then single crochet and single crochet until where my marker is okay so you're going to continue here on the same leg uh in this row and for the next uh three rows so this is this was our second row so in the third fourth and fifth row you're going to do single crochet all the way around for one leg and then i'll show you how to finish up in the last row okay so after you're done with your other rows of the leg uh in the next row which is our almost last row which is our last row we are going to decrease all the way around until the end six times uh, for a total of seven stitches. So you're going to decrease the first two stitches and then decrease the next stitches and then decrease again. and repeat that and decrease all the way around until here at the end okay so after you're done so guys hope you didn't forget to stuff as you go so uh, you're supposed to stuff your leg as you go so now to finish up uh, this row we are going to go in the front loop of the first stitch and the front loop of the other stitch and then uh, sorry it's a little bit tight so in both front loops of the leg you're going to do a single crochet to close the leg okay and then also in the front loop of the other legs make sure you do that all the way around until the end so in all the front loops and then do a single crochet until all the leg closes Okay, so you can do uh, one more here at the end to make it more even. Okay, and then you're going to cut off your yarn. And weave at the end. So this yarn you can uh, close it or put it under the leg to hide it. Okay, so this is how our doll looks like right now. So now for the other row, uh, you're going to put your yarn over here. Just like that. The front loop. And you can just tie it in a knot. Oh. Okay, so after that, uh, after you tie your yarn over here, you're going to repeat the same pattern. So do single crochet all the way around for the next one, two, three, four, five rows until the end and then finish up uh, the same way with that. So 
So after you're done with that, I then I'm going to show you how to make the arms. Okay, so for the arms, uh, we're going to start with the magic ring and then we're going to do five single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so after that I'm going to pull my gap okay and then take my yarn and put over here okay so after that uh, in the second row we're going to increase all the way around for a total of 10 single crochets so you're going to do two single crochet in the first one first stitch Okay, two single crochet in the next two okay okay and then increase all the way around until here for a total of 10 single crochets Okay, so after you're done with that, in our third until the fifth row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 10 stitches in each round. So you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, okay, and then repeat this in this row, the next one, and the fifth row. And I'll see you when you're done with the fifth row so that I show you how to do the sixth row. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, make sure you stuff your hand here just at the bottom. So we're just going to stuff the bottom part. Okay, so just put a little bit of stuffing inside. And then we continue to the other rows, just a little bit. So this is the only part we're going to stuff uh, for the arm. Okay, so just stuff it completely. Okay, like that okay and then and then after you finish stuffing the arm so we're done stuffing uh, we're going to go to the next one and in our next row which is our sixth row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next row uh, in the next stitch so you're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the next one so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and pull through all of them so you're going to repeat that three times and then until you have one stitch left here at the end okay so after you're done you have one stitch left here at the end so you're just going to do single crochet in that last stitch okay and then we're going to start with the next round okay so in our next round uh, we're just going to do single crochet all the way through in the seventh until the eleventh round so after you're done uh, with the 11th row, you're just going to cut off your yarn and uh, then start with the other arm. And then I'll show you how to do the ears. Okay, so the ears are quite simple. So we're going to start with the magic ring again. And then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring. So we're going to do one, two, three four five six okay and then you're going to pull the yarn and then after that in our second row uh, we're going to increase all the six stitches for a total of 12 stitches Okay, so you're going to do two single crochet the first stitch okay and then repeat again two single crochet okay 
and then repeat that all the way around until here for a total of 12 stitches okay so after you're done with that row uh in the next two rows which is row three and row four you're just going to do single crochet all the way around so you're just going to do single crochet single crochet okay so do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches and also in the next row do single crochet and then you're going to cut off your ear and uh, I'll show you how to do the mask so for the mask it's quite simple so I'm going to start with a chain 13 so I'm going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen okay so after you're done with your chain 13 okay so we're going to turn and then starting with the second uh second chain from the hook we are going to do a single crochet in the next four stitches so you're going to skip the first one and start with this so you're going to do one single crochet two three and four in the last one okay and then after that uh, you're going to do half double crochet in the next four stitches okay so you're going to yarn over do half double crochet one Okay, half double crochet two half double crochet three and half double crochet four okay and then after that you're going to do single crochet in the remaining four stitches so you're going to do one, two, three, and also in the last stitch, single crochet, four. Okay, so after that, uh, in the next row, we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches. So it's the same as the other row. So we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches, four half double crochet, and then four single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until uh, in the next five rows. So you're going to have a total of five rows the same way. Okay, so I'll see you when you're done with that, and then you can make the straps together okay so after you're done with your mask this is how it should look like so after that uh, in the next one we're going to do a chain 27 uh, for the ear strap so you're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so after you're done with your chain 27 uh, you're going to go to the other side uh, of the hook so here you're just going to slip stitch all the way around or through okay and then after that uh, you're going to do single crochet all the way around until here and when you reach the other end you're going to make another chain uh, 27 same like this one and then you're going to do single crochet until here at the end okay so after you're done we're going to join our doll together so as you can see this is how i attached so for the ears i made sure they are in line together with the arms okay and in the other side too and i use the safety eyes i usually glue my eyes uh using um 
iron glue or fabric glue and then for the mask this is how i did so you can uh crochet the the nose or the muzzle and all that together so you can embroider them so in my case i decided just to attach the mask and it's just gonna remain like that so because this is just a gift to my niece and uh, once you're done i uh, hope you enjoyed this pattern and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos until next time thank you bye